everyone, today I'm attempting to do a Christmas DIY video. This could be a complete disaster, but I'ma try my best anyway. I am going to be making some chocolate orange hot chocolates served in actual oranges, which I think would be a nice little creative touch if you're having a Christmas party or a little sleepover. Plus, they taste delicious, and trust me, I've drunk a lot of them, so I would know. You will need large oranges, some chocolate orange, milk of your choice, more chocolate orange to add afterwards or to eat as you go along, edible sparkle dust for decoration, some festive straws, or there is always a lazy option of buying instant hot chocolate and using stencils to make them seem pretty and festive without going to the trouble of emptying all the oranges and doing it that way. step is to pop a saucepan on the hob and grab yourself a wooden spoon. You can estimate and measure out the amount of milk you might need by using a small mug and pour it into the saucepan and if there are a lot of you then I would do this a few times. Now it's time to heat up the milk. I'm going to emphasise the word heat here as I don't want to burn it on the bottom of the pan which I have done many times so make sure the flame isn't too high and stir the milk as it warms through. Now is time for my personal favourite step, breaking the chocolate orange into pieces and adding it into the saucepan and eating a few bits as you go along just to make sure it tastes okay. Mm -hmm. You can vary the amount of chocolate that you add depending on how strong or milky you prefer your hot chocolate. Do taste tests along the way and keep adding if you need to. That's actually what I ended up doing because I wanted mine a little more chocolatey than I probably needed it to be. How much do you just want to drink that from the saucepan? Now you could finish here, pour into mugs and whack on a few marshmallows and squirty cream but if you want to be a bit more creative I've decided to cut and hollow large oranges to pour my hot chocolate into. If you're under a certain age and you aren't allowed to use sharp knives or you're exceptionally clumsy this is where I'd seek an adult's help. No honestly I'm being serious I do not want any of you to lose any fingers at Christmas time. Cut off the top of the orange to use as a lid and hollow out the orange, I've just used a spoon here. You can also get a few glasses of freshly squeezed orange juice out of this because there's absolutely no need to waste the centre of an orange, it's all good for you. Using a small knife I've cut out the top of the orange and popped out leaving a hole. You can pop the lids back on and now you have your orange cut. I also just want to point out that if you pick out larger oranges it's a lot more beneficial as they are a lot more sturdy because the last thing you would want is for one to roll over. Cut your straws to the right length and make sure they fit snugly into the hole in the lid. Being very careful again if you're clumsy, do seek help, use a ladle to pour the hot chocolate into the oranges. Using the oranges as hot chocolate mugs gives the hot chocolate that extra zingy kick that a porcelain mug would never give. Plus, it just looks a lot more cool unless you drop it. In which case you will burn yourself and make a massive mess, so do avoid that if you can. You can then add coconut to make it look like snow, marshmallows, cream or you can use the sparkle dust and the stencils to make them all look a bit more fancy, although I personally just love them simple with the lid and the straw. If you're worrying that these could be a little bit unhealthy or a little bit too sickly for you, don't worry because after you finish the hot chocolate you have some freshly squeezed orange juice to balance it out nicely. So I hope you've enjoyed my first attempt at a do-it-yourself style video. I know I need a little practice, so sorry about that. If you do make these, be sure to hashtag Zoella Choc Oranges on Instagram and you can tag me at Zozibo so I can see all your creative attempts that are probably a hundred times better than mine. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you very soon. Go give Zoe a big cuddle to say thank you. Go on and go give a big cuddle and a kiss. Mwah! Aww. Do you like your presents? Yeah. Yeah? Is it money?